Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Oh, don't worry. We're getting back to that entryway today. <laughs> I'm a little excited about it. Um, I'm going to pick it today. I have to work at Pickett this morning. Uh, I kind of lost track of my morning. I was having coffee, took the dog out. It's raining a little. I was all snoodled up on the couch going, oh, I feel productive when it rains. Couldn't wait to get started on my entryway. So I started kind of picking at stuff. And then I realized, oh, crap, I got to go. <laughs> almost didn't quite make it out the door here so I won't have a lot of time to restock but according to everyone I talked to yesterday it was dead at Pickett not good that ain't good but it doesn't sound like I will need to do much to restock I'm hoping the fishing widows come out today and uh, clean us out if nothing else maybe I can find something for that entryway that I don't have to create I know there's a church pew on the porch, but I don't know if it's too big. Which, you know, it's a little one. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. But we got another rainy day. And, uh, two more days to actually make rent. I have not even come close. Not even come close. So it's kind of scary right now. I'm not going to think about it because all I want to think about is that entryway and getting it done before my husband gets home. For those of you who didn't see yesterday, my husband is rich. He, he's change aver he, he has an aversion to change. He doesn't, he doesn't like change. And if he had his way, everything would be painted white or beige. Not to, there would be no color. Certainly wouldn't put a dark color in any room let alone an entryway. But he usually likes it when I'm done, so I'm just going to get it done, and then he'll like it. He once told me that we weren't going to paint the cabinets in the kitchen of our old house. They were so dark. They were like this dark walnut color. Ugh. I couldn't stand looking at them. So he went away for a week for business, and when he came home, the cabinets were all painted. <laughs> and he goes, it looks good. And I'm like, just trust me. It'll be great. <laughs> but in his mind, he would not be able to see this dark color that I'm painting it. And he would, he would freak out. So, eh, I'll just do it. He'll be fine. It'll be great. But right now, I'm going to work my shift at Picket till 3. <sighs> Go home and start rolling. As far as here, they just made a mess. So I'm going to clean up. The orange thermal casserole sold. So I'm going to go get that blue one and put it in here. Um, other than that, I don't see anything. All right, I am on my way home. I saw the craziest thing today at Pickett. I'm leaving and Jeff's, Jeff called me. I'm talking to him on the phone. And uh, this woman walks out in front of me carrying an armload of stuff with tags still on them, like flapping in a wind. And I, she's super tall and she had a, like, she bolts down the, all the way to the end of the block. And that's where my car's parked, so I'm following her. And I'm like, ma'am, were you going to pay for that stuff? She goes, yeah. And I said, today? <laughs> well, I don't, where are you going? <laughs> I have one of your cards. Like, that doesn't help. If you grab an armload of stuff and walk down the street, that doesn't help that you have one of our claim tickets. It's like, I get that you have stuff waiting, but you just literally grabbed a bunch of stuff, walked down the street, and then she was in her car, like she, her head's inside of her car. 
I had to make sure she came out with all the stuff I saw her carry out. I'm like, why would you do that? Who does that? Like you're going to Target, grab a bunch of stuff and walk to your car? No. We have a claim ticket system for a reason. If you needed to go to your car, hand it to one of the employees and say, you know, can you put this in my basket? Unbelievable. People are. And you know what? She had to have been maybe 20. Y'all need to train your kids better. Unbelievable. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, I just talked to Jeffy. He still has no idea what's happening. And uh, I'm on my way home to paint, but I'm going to stop and pick up dinner, which it's way early. But I figured, why not? I'm going to stop at a uh, quick trip and grab some chicken nuggets. They have these sweet and spicy chicken nuggets. They taste Asian to me. So I feel like if I put it on a bed of rice and get a salad going, it's going to be a good dinner. So that's what I'm having. That's, that's what I've been thinking about for a while. I'm going to stop a quick trip and hope they have them. Okay, I'm home. And I changed into some painting clothes, something I should have done yesterday. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get to rolling. It's going to be great. This is a true trust the process moment. <laughs> it's not covering great. So let me show you. It's all streaky. This side looks better for some reason. Not, not great though. It's going to need a second coat. I love it though. I love the color. Just needs to dry. The more I try and roll, the more it's pulling paint off of the walls. So we've got to stop doing that. If some random guy that you're working with tells you that you should wet your roller before you do this, don't listen. It created a huge mess and made streaks down that wall that I had to roll over a second time after it dried. And made a huge mess. So he was like, what do you mean you don't wet your roller before you roll the walls? I'm like, I've never wet the roller once. You just, you know, load it with paint and start rolling. Oh, you always have to wet the roller. It just, it was awful. It was awful. It made a huge mess. Don't ever, ever listen to that person. Listen to me. I've made the mistake so you don't have to. So I made a mistake. I listened to him on one section of the wall. I actually took the roller off and threw it away because I'm like, I can't have this dripping all over the place. And I had to get, grab a new roller and start again. So I'm going to let this dry. I may or may not give it a second coat tonight because this was ambitious for after a long day at Picket. I am tired and I want to sit down and put my feet up. So I think I'll probably get after this tomorrow. I'm a morning person. Since the dog's probably going to wake me up at 5.30 again, I think I will just get after this tomorrow morning and we'll leave this where it is right now. But I, I love it. It changes the whole mood of this entryway. I mean, it's not even finished and it just feels different in here. It feels better. It just feels better. Because I needed a change. I needed new energy in here. And it feels really, really good just to get that little uplift of a new paint job. So tomorrow we'll finish it. They're not coming home till after dinner anyway. They promised. Because I asked if I could make my own dinner. And they said, yeah, we won't be back till after dinner. I'm like, cool. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, clean my rollers up and... Put it away till tomorrow. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. It's so pretty. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.